What is going on guys, Chris Barber first here, and welcome to a little segment I like to call Talking Trains. Today what we're going to be talking about is those blinking lights on the front of the locomotive. Now you're probably wondering, what are these lights called, what do they do, and what do they mean? Folks, these lights are called ditch lights. And they are very important to the railroad, especially for safety reasons. Now, why do we have ditch lights on the front of locomotives, especially on CSX and Norfolk Southern? Well, as I said in the beginning, ditch lights are very important to the railroad, especially for safety reasons. Well, you're probably wondering, well, how are they used for safety reasons, and why? Ditch lights are used for safety reasons because they are used to make it easier for drivers and people outside of vehicles to see trains, especially in the dark. Now you're probably wondering, how did ditch lights get their name? Ditch lights were invented in the 1900s. They were named ditch lights because one light would shine in a ditch and the other light would shine in a ditch to see if there was anything lurking or anything in its path between the rails and the ballast, giving it the name the ditch lights. Ditch lights are required by law on all locomotives in the United States. Some ditch lights are different. Another name for ditch lights are auxiliary lights. Some, di some ditch lights are different. Some flash and some don't. On BNSF and Union Pacific, their ditch lights on their locomotives do not flash. Whereas on Norfolk Southern and CSX, they flash. Now you're probably wondering, what is the earliest form of the ditch lights? Before ditch lights were invented, there was something called gyroscopic lights. These are the ditch lights that the steam engines used. The gyroscopic light was the earliest form of the ditch light at the time. Southern Pacific Date Light 4449 had it mounted on the front part of the boiler and on the front of the engine. Nickel plate 765 had it as well, again, the same place, on the front of the boiler of the front of the engine. Union Pacific 844 also had it, again, on the front of the boiler, on the front of the engine. Also Pure Marquette 1225 also has it. Again, same place. On the front of the boiler, on the front of the engine. On diesel locomotives, such as a GE, an EMD, GP38-2, GP30, GP60, GE, ES44AC, ES44AC-H, or an ES44DC. It doesn't matter what engine is, whatever whatever engine it might be, the, the, the gyroscopic lights would be hung on the front of the engine in between the number plating of the of the locomotive that is shown on screen. That is where most gyroscopic lights on diesel locomotives would be installed and mounted. So folks, that was a rundown on locomotive ditch lights and how they work, what they're used for, and why they're a thing on railroads today. So if you guys want to see more of this on the, on the channel, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. Ditch lights on railroads today make railroads 100% safer than what it is then.
when it would what it would be without them. Thank you for watching.